Hey guys, good morning. It is the 12th of August. It's Monday. I'm sitting here. It's almost 9 o'clock and Jesse is still asleep. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so I'm trying to be very quiet. I do have laundry going in the back. Uh, so if you hear that, that's what it is. But I'm sitting here. I'm trying to catch up on YouTube videos. I'm watching Rose Black's crochet right now. Oh my gosh, there's a big moth over there. <laughs> I just seen a big moth flying across the room. But I was sitting here working on um, these little pumpkin bags by Jaden Stitches. It's a free tutorial on her YouTube channel. And they're like little treat bags, you know. I made two of them. I finished one yesterday and I finished one this morning. Um, I'm going to make quite a few of these, I think, because they're super fast for my craft fair. And then I'm going to make a little sign uh, saying, you know, what they're, they are so that people know what they are and not think they're just little toys or something. So they know that you can put stuff in there as I'm trying to think. But when I was working on that, I had like an epiphany. <laughs> and so now I'm sitting here and I'll show you just a little bit of it. Working on <laughs> my own pattern that I might... If I like it, I might write it up and have another pattern coming out. So, um, I'm excited about that. <laughs> but I actually, and while I'm working on this one, I'm having like another more ideas for other ones, if that makes sense. So, I'm just sitting here being creative and watching YouTube videos. I'm, I'm not too far behind this time. Normally, I'm really far behind on my YouTube videos, but not today. I've only got, uh, looks like seven or eight more on my watch later list. I got a ton of material in there. I started cutting yesterday the Halloween prints. And um, today I'm going to mess around with a couple other bag shapes. Uh, I think if I have, if I get the chance to. I don't know. We'll see. Hey guys. Okay. I'm trying to get you. Okay. <laughs> I'm about to go clean our bathroom. I cleaned a little bit of the house earlier and no, swept. No. Yes. What? Can we play Lego Hold on a minute. <laughs> And uh, so now I gotta clean the bathroom. Uh, I hate cleaning the bathroom. Dig out everything, put it in my bucket so I can carry it all together in there. Get some paper to clean the mirror with. <laughs> all right, let's go. Let me show the cabinet. I'm really bad at leaving cabinets open all the time. Okay. So, okay. Woo. First step is I gotta clean off the counter and all that stuff. Hey guys, it's been a while. <laughs> I got super busy. Uh, that little pattern that I showed you a little bit of earlier, I ended up going crazy and finishing it. And I completely finished it and writing its pattern. So now I gotta make another one and take pictures and all that stuff again. I don't know why I don't remember to do that the first time. Maybe uh, next time I will. But I got it in there done and I'm super excited about it. And I'm planning on releasing it the same time that I released my other pattern. And um, my, my knee just popped big time. Um, I'm going to make a tutorial, a video tutorial for this one. Because it's a small quick pattern. And it'll be easier for me to make a tutorial for it, I think. <laughs> but um, what am I doing? Oh yeah, I wanted to show you guys. I went through all my uh, holiday decorations earlier and separated them better by um, three categories. I have our Christmas tubs, <laughs> I have a Halloween tote, and then I have one tote that's like all the other holidays put together. And um, right here oh, is my Halloween one. Because <laughs> I went ahead and got it out because I'm going to be putting that up soon. It's only the second week of August so a couple more weeks and I'll probably be starting to put some of that stuff up and uh, I'm planning on buying more Halloween decorations if anyone will ever put them out but yeah I wanted to hop in again because I realized I haven't been recording but it's because I've been working on that pattern instead of like crocheting other stuff so I'm gonna get ready I think to film a no catch a name real quick and then I'm going to maybe work on another pattern <laughs> using the same bodies because there's, I'm trying to figure out how to make certain parts look right. And then I'm going to, all these patterns that I'm designing right now are kind of similar. Like they're in the same category. They're different things because the first one was amigurumi. This one's not amigurumi. But it's same theme, if that makes sense. But yeah, I'm going to be releasing it soon. And um, I'm going to have a hook crochet along with those patterns. And then hopefully some other patterns from another person. Um, then I'm going to keep all that secret until we are ready to re announce the crochet along, like, officially. But I'm going to set up to film no cage name real fast, if I can find my spiders, because Jesse was playing with them. 
All right, so I just filmed, no kitchen name, like literally just finished. I'm putting up all the stuff that I was just showering on it. Jesse's running around like a crazy person. What are you doing, boo? I'm just coming to get out my bedroom. All right, let me put my what yarn. What are you doing here? I'm going to put my yarn bowl up so that you don't break it because okay. that would make mommy so sad. All right, let's see here. This whip needs to go in my whip basket. No, All my finished objects can now go get chucked in my gi giant bag of finished objects. Let's go find that. I'm going to have to edit uh, some parts of my video because I keep accidentally showing my pattern in the background. Uh-uh. Hey, go in your room for a minute because I can't show you in your underwear. I'll, I'll, be, I'll be done in a second. Okay, that's my giant bag of finished objects. I know that's not a good way to store them, but right now it's keeping them clean. And until I can get containers to put them in, I just keep adding to this giant bag. So there goes the ghosts, the spiders, and the treat bags. <laughs> Okay, so now that is taken care of. In your office. You're in my office? Yeah. Office? Yeah. Oh, the way he thought this when you talk. Okay, y'all are all crooked. I gotta I, get some. I love in your office. Stay there. Mama. Yeah, I love my office too. It's cool. Wait. I got to get some. Mama, <laughs> uh, meat out of the freezer Mama. to thaw out for. What are you doing? I'm trying to Dinner. Well, make a cup of water and purge yourself. Okay. Okay. What are you doing? Ground beef out for tacos later. This is all about super fast. Huh. Turn the water on. I don't want to. Just a second. Alright, so now I got dinner thawed out. <laughs> Okay, I'm about to start dinner. Oh, I just hit the bowl. I'm making my chili powder and I always mix my own up. Um, Where's my tablet? It's right here. Hold on a second. It's charging. I mean, it should be charged by now. Yeah, go turn it on and let it load. It's going to take a minute to load. <laughs> Anyways, I'm about to start dinner, which I'm going to make taco meat. But I, me and Jesse usually eat it as nachos and then Devin eats it as tacos. But uh, I thought I would share it with you guys. I mix it my own. I found this forever ago on uh, like Pinterest or somewhere and then I um, you know tweaked it. So I don't really know where I originally got it. But I use a tablespoon of chili and then a teaspoon of cumin. I'm almost out of this con container of cumin but I got more because I use it on everything. <laughs> we love cumin and chili on pretty much everything. A teaspoon of garlic powder. And my teaspoon's dirty, so I'm gonna use a half a teaspoon. So it's gonna take twice as long. <laughs> a teaspoon of paprika. Morning. This is this uh, is kind of a little a little spicy, and like it's like my chili mix that I make. It's also spicy. Did I say chili mix? I meant taco seasoning. I said chili earlier. Half a teaspoon of oregano. I'll have it in the description box too if you're interested in trying it. It's pretty good. I like making my own seasoning mixes instead of buying them because it's cheaper and it's easier for me to always have spices on hand than it is to have a little packs. Uh, half a teaspoon of onion powder. More or less. <laughs> so I'm going to add a little bit more. Uh, a fourth of a teaspoon of salt. Again, more or less. Oops. Add more. What else? Fourth of a teaspoon of black pepper. And lastly, a fourth of a teaspoon of red or uh, crushed chili flakes. More or less. <laughs> But when I'm not actually skipping it, it's a tablespoon of chili, a teaspoon of cumin, a teaspoon of garlic powder, a teaspoon of paprika. I didn't do that, did I? Did I do paprika? I don't think I did. Um, half a teaspoon of oregano, half a teaspoon of onion powder, fourth a teaspoon of salt, fourth a teaspoon of black pepper, and a fourth a teaspoon of red pepper flakes. I'll be extra paprika -y because I don't remember if I put paprika in there, so I put it in there twice. But I don't remember saying it. 
So then I just mix it up in my little bowl. <laughs> and then when I brown my meat, which I'm about to do, I add the powder in there with like a fourth or a third a cup of water and mix it up really good. And then I'll let it set and like simmer for a while to like soak up all the seasonings and then done. Yeah. Also, I have a recipe binder that I just made myself, and it's just got all the recipes that I've tried from, like, the internet and stuff. If I try them and we like them, I print them out nice and pretty and put them in this. Some of them are actually handwritten and sloppy, but most of them are printed and pretty. And then I keep it up in my cabinet up there so that all my our favorite recipes are on hand at all times.